Hiya folks, my name is The Dirty Rancher, and I like to make very cringy content. And on my spare time, I also like to sculpt clay. I also enjoy gaming. Bad voice acting. Cooking. Memes. Music. Oh, oh. And some other shit I like to put on my YouTube channel. Emphasis on the shit. And since these YouTube tribute videos of mine crudely plagiarize the intro styles of the YouTubers I do episodes on, this intro shall be no exception. So without further ado, let us continue. You get yourself a pert channel there. <laughs> Why don't you squeal like a YouTuber? <laughs> Adam's origins were very humble. He took off kind of slowly, but he's gained a fair amount of popularity recently. Um, most artists on YouTube kind of take off slowly, unless you're a ZHC, but that's, that's just an exception. Uh, the Adam we know today works mostly with bigger clay models, but in his humble beginning, he worked more with foam, wood, and miniature clay figurines. He eventually found his niche in larger, more detailed clay work. That's the Adam we know today. His earlier videos still had lots of effort, of course, but you can see the difference in quality that Adam molds into his current content. His voice also seemed less enthusiastic and less electronically rendered as it is now. Or he just got a much better microphone, and it's most likely the latter. He also took time to start consistently using his now patented, not sure if it's patented, catchphrase, Hiya folks, my name is Adam and I like to make tiny, nerdy things. But for only being on the platform for just over two years, he has already accumulated over a million subscribers. And that is quite an impressive feat that is well deserved, if you ask me. The phrase, practice makes perfect, uh, it works well with most things in life. And when it comes to art, the phrase is a perfect merriment. Like peanut butter and jelly, or strawberry with bananas. And with years of practice, Adam has shown his consistent growth with his detail work. I envy his detail. But I'm also impatient, so the envy I feel is more or less confusion, because I'm a lazy mother, you know. But that's the key, patience. For a guy who says he's lazy, Adam has the patience for the detail he desires to instill into his work. Work like his BB-8 Hulkbuster, with all those little itty-bitty robotic parts makes my head spin. Or his realistic Bowser and Mario. Or tiny Earth with his Earth-eating monster. Wario and Luigi. Zombie Arthur. I could go on and on. Uh, what can I say? The, the guy's an artist. Adam's art style and humor go hand in hand. And as a fellow Canadian who spent some time living in the UK, I can see where some of his satire and humor comes from. And seeing creations of his, such as his horrific minions, you notice his comedic style blend with his art style. His hilarious commentary is also unique, which to me helps him create well, like the current foundations of what his channel is now. And as for art style, the mixture of realistic, creepy, and with a dash of horror and lots of nerdy things, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's beautiful. And because I love horror and the macabre and obscure games and pop culture, I was immediately drawn to North of the Border. His style is also at times rustic, depends on the project he has in mind. But Adam's work borders fantasy and reality, another perfect merriment. Adam not only claims to be lazy, but he also insists he does not plan ahead. But I bet to differ on his little plan dilemma. 
He seems to have a vast extent of knowledge when it comes to arts and crafts and possibly basic carpentry, which I kind of picked up with some of his earlier work, like his Breeze Home bookshelf. But I'm not sure what Adam has had as an occupation before his channel, but if I were to guess, I would suspect carpentry or some sort of mill work, maybe some other trade work. Either way, the man has some skills, alright? He's got some mad skills, and I've learned a lot from watching him work, and has drastically helped Im improve my work, and in, in, in clay especially. His clay expertise is what seems to be... It's a good source of information for me in tricks, like the difference between cost clay versus super sculpty. I, I never knew that cost clay is better for fine detail work pieces like teeth and fingers and... Stuff that's going to be more flexible and won't snap off your piece while you're uh, baking it or painting it or continue to sculpt on it. Uh, so thanks to Adam, I'm getting more confident in my clay work. So thanks, Adam, for sharing knowledge and skills and experience. You're a, you're a wise man, and don't be so hard on yourself, buddy. You're pretty good, man. You're pretty good. Adam uses his influence properly to inspire others to be creative with his own creative expressions. A healthy way to channel one's raw energy into a masterpiece. And North of the Border continues to grow more and more with each upload, gaining loyal followers who are interested to see what he's capable of creating next. And I will gladly enjoy keeping up to date with his arts and crafts and his growth as an artist and possibly as one of my favorite YouTubers of our time, so thanks, Adam, for what you do, not only because you're driven, talented, and hardworking, but also due to the fact that there has been a recent flood of AI-generated art that can make anyone an artist. But your handcrafted work and others like you keep the real art in us alive. So keep it up, man. Don't stop the magic. And thank you all so much for watching, for tuning in, Please enjoy the rest of your YouTube binge, and uh, we'll see you in the next one, folks. Take care. Well, hey there. Dirty Rancher here. I just want to say thanks for watching the video. It really makes my day to see those views go up. So remember, like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a great day.